Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a fun bow for a package. This is for a girl. See this pretty sparkly wrapping paper. Um, this is pink and lime and purple and blue and silver and there's a lighter pink. And I've already wrapped it as you can see. And I took extra care in making sure it looked really good. Now I'm going to take just this cross grain in a blue. I'm going to take it around and make sure it's straight. Yep. I'll pull that tight. You can hold that with your finger, or if you have a little clip like this, it's a little hair clip, like that. I'm just going to tie a knot in it. I can pull that out. want it loose enough where she can just slide it off so she doesn't have to fight with it. Okay, I've got several things here. This, I know it looks like tulle, but it's not. It's organza. See that? And I actually found it at a dollar store. And this is a version of Deco Mesh. It's a waffle. They're calling it a mesh waffle ribbon. That's the packaging for it. And then, of course, I've got my deco mesh tubing in different styles. And I have this cute little glittery reindeer. I also got these from the dollar store, a whole package of them. And I've got a little bell. And then a Chanel stammer pipe cleaner to tie on my bow. Okay, so I want to start at the top. And I may put these on last. I'm not sure. We'll see how this goes. I like to start at the top of my bow and then work my way down. That's just the way I do it. So I'm just going to stick that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to cut that off. Okay. I'm going to give that a twist. Okay, so my little bell's connected. Okay, so I want to start with these. I've got a little piece of purple, as you can see, so I'm going to go ahead and make a small. Try to make this pretty tight and small. Because as I go to my bottom layers, I want to get bigger. Go ahead and make one more little loop. It's okay if it's coming off the same side. Now I think I'm going to go with some green. I can find my end. Make that a little bit longer and then I'm going to make my loops a little bit bigger too. And I'm just going to do a couple on each side. And then cut that off. Then I'll do my pink. And if it gets a little too difficult to keep holding these, you can go ahead and get a another pipe cleaner and tie these off and do each layer if you need to. I'm going to try to hold on to it through each one. And one more. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and tie that off because they're trying to get away from me. Turn that around and I'm going to pull it as tight as I can. And hopefully that's going to be tight enough so it don't come loose. I'm going to keep twisting so it gets really tight because I don't want them coming out. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to do, I think I'll go with some more purple. I'm just going to take it, gather it. Gather it. I'm just going to do two loops. And I'm going to do my green. I'm going to try to make that one come off that side. And loop and gather and loop and gather. And I can go ahead and tie that on the back of there. 
And I can do it this way or this way. I think I'll go that way. Again, I'm going to pull that really tight. Give it a couple of twists. It's going to be really fun and multicolored. Now for the organza. Just going to gather that. I'm doing the wrong side. Okay. I could just cut off pieces of it and gather them together and have them coming off like that. Or I can take it and gather it and make some loops like that. Then I'll spread them out. But I think I'm just going to cut strips. I think that will look better. And I think I'll do probably three of these. All about the same size. Okay. I'm just going to pinch them in the middle. 